are now listening to All One Radio, the talk show podcast station, bringing you the current events and issues. All information and resources are based on the opinions of the host unless otherwise noted. This podcast may contain some quotations, images, and or excerpts from copyright material. These uses fall well within the copyright doctrine of fair use. This is the news report. And I am your host. Welcome, welcome to all my listeners and my day ones. This is your news report. So let's talk news report. Um, we have another story today that is a bit on the sad side, but it is an eye opener because we are steadily losing our black children. Um, and this is one more that will tug at the heartstrings and make you think and wonder, as it should, um, to bring awareness to how things are being handled when it comes to the black community. So, we have a mysterious death of a black teen in Louisiana. Now... Authorities are now investigating death of a black teen in Louisiana as a homicide. Now, families of Q1, Bobby Charles, age 15, and local civil rights groups raised questions about whether race slowed police response. Now, that alone is an eyebrow raiser, but is not surprising. Now, authorities are investigating the mysterious death of a black teenager, Q1 Bobby Charles, whose body was found in a Louisiana sugar cane field. So they are ruling it or treating it as a homicide. The announcement came after relatives of Charles and the local civil rights groups called for an independent investigation and raised questions about whether his race played a role in how law enforcement officials handle his case so far. And we are talking about a 15 year old little boy because he's not an adult. He's still a kid or was a kid. I'm sorry. Now, his body was found on November 3rd in a sugar cane field near the village of Laurenville, which is about 20 miles from his father's home in Baldwin. His mother first reported him missing on October 30th. The time frame alone speaks volumes. Now, a lawyer for the family stated that it was unclear why officials hadn't issued an Amber Alert after his, after he disappeared or how he could have drowned. The likely cause of death listed in the autopsy report when his body was found in shallow water. Now, the Iberia Parish Sheriff's Office did not say why it is investigating his death as a homicide. Hmm. And of course, they a statement was released um, and it goes as follows. Just as we do in any case involving someone found deceased in this manner, we immediately began treating this as a homicide investigation. At the very moment we found Kiwan Bobby Charles, the sheriff's office said in a statement. The sheriff's office also stated that it had not been alerted to Charles' disappearance until November 3rd, when one of his parents contacted the office. That's, that's really questionable. Now, Charles' mother had initially reported him missing to her local police department in the town of Baldwin, and the department then notified the local sheriff's office in St. Mary Parish. The statement continued. Now, it was not immediately clear why the sheriff's office in St. Mary Parish didn't alert authorities in nearby Iberia Parish where Charles' body was found. A St. Mary spokesperson did not respond to a request for comment. This is what makes this very mysterious. So his mother reported him missing in October. 
they're saying they did were not notified till November 3rd. So who does this fall on? Of course, it falls on the local police where his mother reported him missing. Someone there is going to be in hot water because they did not report it in a timely manner, which is questionable. And I can understand why they want to know if it is racially motivated to not handle it, you know, in a quick manner. Now, investigators reviewed video evidence from an area near where Charles' body was found that showed him on camera before his death and no one else with him. Now, this is what they said in the statement. They also stated that investigators found Charles' body af uh, hours after learning of his disappearance. The sheriff's office said in a statement, adding that it was actively and aggressively gathering evidence and conducting interviews. Somebody is not being forthcoming in this. So his mother reported him missing on the 30th of October. But they found his body af hours after learning of his disappearance, which... The sheriff's office said before that they weren't notified until November 3rd. Hmm. Now, the sheriff's office also stated that it was awaiting toxicology results and, of course, they declined to provide additional details about Charles' death because the investigation was ongoing. Okay. Now, a lawyer for the family, Chase Trussell, stated that he was heartened that the sheriff's office was investigating Charles' death as a homicide. No able-bodied 15-year-old is going to drown in ankle-deep water without some outside influence that contributed to his death, he stated. Still, he said that neither the family nor their lawyers have heard from Iberia Par Parish Sheriff Thomas Romero about possible leads, theories, and other findings despite a request for a meeting. Now, a spokesperson for the sheriff could not immediately say if Romero would meet with them. So, this is very fishy. And it is bringing awareness to how, apparently, in Baldwin, they're, the officials there are handling things. So, yes, I see that this did warrant them wanting an outside investigation because there are so many questions in this to make you wonder now if your child comes up missing you want to of course immediately report them missing and you immediately want an amber alert to go out so they can begin looking for your child now, as far as the parents doing their job, that part was apparently handled. So it's left up to the local authorities to go through the chain of command and follow protocol. Now, if protocol is not followed, questioning is needed. An answer should be given. Why wouldn't you report it as it needed to be reported. What was stopping you if it had been reported on October 30th? Why would you wait till November 3rd to report it to Iberia Parish Sheriff's Office? Were you that busy? It's a small town. Or was it a lack of common courtesy? Because it was n not one of your own because it was another race. So many excuses are going to be thrown at this as well. Just as many other stories when it comes to racial equality, there is a lack of it. A citizen is a citizen. No matter whether, whether they are black, white, green, purple, blue, orange, it does not matter. 
a human life is a human life. And when you're dealing with children, time is of the essence. Now, my opinion is in this is that changes need to be made in that local department. Because it's clear that someone cannot do their job properly. And if they're unable to do their job properly, then someone else who can do the job needs to come in and do that job. If they don't want that job, give it to someone who does. Someone who's actually going to protect and serve the community. Not just pick and choose who you serve. If you're going to go by the books, go by the books. Every life deserves kindness and respect as well as dignity. And this young man and his family did not receive it. Why? So if you have any thoughts on this, you have any feelings about this, let me know. Let's talk about this. As I usually say, the more it's talked about, the more changes will come about. Keep in mind that this could have been your child, someone close to you. No one wants tragedy. No one deserves to get put on the back burner for some senseless reason. Their professionalism deserves to be questioned. So don't be afraid to question it. This 15-year-old, he did not deserve to be put on a back burner. He just did not. And it's not fair to anyone. His family, the community that loved him. For an officer of the law, do your job. And do it to the fullest. No half-stepping. Get your personal feelings out of it and do your job. If you cannot, give it to somebody who can. And I don't think they, whoever made the slip up, I don't think they deserve a slap on the wrist. Make an example. So the next officers that come in will actually do their job. We're not looking for any more stories like this. We want some peace in our communities. Our communities deserve that. So be careful. Watch your children. Take care of yourselves and each other. You have been listening to On One Radio, the talk show podcast station, bringing you the current events and issues. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my news report. I wish you the best and have a wonderful day.